Good morning. How are you? My name is Hina. If you don't know me, if you do know me, hello. Good to see you. Can't say long time no see. What's going on? So how are we? I had to... I'm not... I'm good. Thank you for asking. I did have to start half of my day because when I film everything, y'all, I just be rah, 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 rah. I have so much to say and it's so hard to edit so I didn't even give myself that option today what we are gonna do is go shopping for maternity clothes but before that I'm not even gonna lie there's a sponsor and we're just gonna knock this out real quick you know just rip the band-aid off this video is sponsored by Scentbird like I said this video is sponsored by Scentbird yay thank you Scentbird what is Scentbird and why is it such a great subscription service basically Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you can choose a new designer fragrance for just $16 a month. Isn't that nuts? Crazy. Wow. Good thing about it? Flexible. You can skip any month, no penalty. Bada bank, bada boom, save money, live better. And there are over 600 designer perfumes to choose from. Unisex, men's colognes, whatever you want. Honestly, just think about it. Have you ever been like gifted a perfume or you bought a perfume and you realize I don't really like it no more? Okay, but what are you gonna do with a whole bottle? You spent too much money. You already dug yourself in a hole. We're negative. But with Scentbird, each perfume comes with a little cutesy, little baby, cutesy, cutesy girl. Cutesy little 30 day supply. And these things are bigger than most testers. So honestly, it's just perfect. And you can also update your prescript, your, your, uh, pers You can also upgrade your subscription to get two to three products a month. And okay, first of all, look at these. I love this because you can just slide this little thing into your purse. Hello? Look at that. You take it out, bada bing, bada boom, twist, gone, safe, magic, boom. Scentbird works with top designer brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, and even cute little indie brands like Confessions of a Rebel. And if you don't know what you want, you can go and take Scentbird's fragrance recommendation quiz. How fun is that? I took their quiz because I always pick the same thing, like ambery scents. So I took a quiz to try to get something different, and the ones that I have been loving, this one, juice, pure sugar, Bomb. I thought I didn't like sweet scents. Turns out I do. Versace Yellow Diamond. Also bomb. Makes me feel fancy. Makes me feel like a mother. And I also have Pamela Rowland's Flower. Super good. Perfect for spring, if I do say so myself. I was just so used to wearing one, but now it's kind of fun to like switch some things up. I kind of wish I did this for like my wedding. And the best part, you can use my code for 55% off your first month of Scentbird. That's like $7 for your first month. And for all you Canadian can Canadians, um, it's also available in Canada. So thank you Scentbird for sponsoring this video. And thank you you guys, because without you guys, none of this would be possible. Really highly recommend checking out Scentbird because I love stuff that customizes things for you, you know? And let me reiterate, if you use my code, you get 55% off, okay? Your first month, that's like $7. And this economy, you better snatch that up real quick. Because this year we are smelling good and saving money. Okay, that's all I got. Thank you, kiss, kiss, mush, mush. Bye bye, love you, bye. Wow. Thank you, Scentbird. I have developed a new addiction to Harvest Snaps. Not sponsored. I just picked them up at a gas station one day and now I'm, I'm like, look. Found out they have them at Target, so I had to stock up. Like I said, not sponsored, but it could be. Where have I been? What have I been up to? What's going on? Starting, where have I been? A lot has happened. Let's take it down a notch. Okay, let's be a lot less annoying and be a little bit serious here. Um, there was a death in my family. It was my husband's grandmother, who was now my grandmother. And obviously that just, it sucks. Some of you may know we got married this past August in a backyard and that backyard was hers. And so I spent a lot of time with her. I didn't know her for that long, but I spent a lot of time with her planning my wedding and that was some of the best weekends I could have ever, some of the best weekends just ever. Um, so it was a tough weekend especially for my new family. Um, they were all very close. So I'm asking for, I'm not sure what I'm asking for. I'm not really sure why I brought, I am sure actually, I know. I'm asking for prayers for my whole family. Prayers, thoughts, whatever you do, send them our way because everybody I think needs a little pick me up. It was hard. I mean, it would never be easy to, you know, it's never fun to lose someone. Coming from an in-law perspective, all I wanted to do was find a way to fix it. But unfortunately, I can't do that. Um, her name was Gran, Grancis, if you will. Uh, so yeah, just keep her four kids, her 14 grandkids, and then the newest grand grandkids that are being born, being brewed. Just send as much love as you possibly can because people need it. Also, hug your loved ones, call your loved ones. Moving on, I did strategically time my news delivery to, uh, you know, 
you know, be the bearer of bad news and then be the bearer of good news right after I felt the baby move. Actually, right after her service. Synchronicities, I don't know, but I think something had to do with something. It's so freaking exciting. I have an anterior placenta, which means my placenta's in the front. So I, people, my midwife was telling me that I'm probably not gonna feel it as early as other people do. 21 weeks, almost 22 weeks, I felt it. And dude be doing somersaults, or girl, it, it be flipping. <laughs> so many emotions just came with that feeling. It kind of like solidified the pregnancy, you know, just feeling something in there is just, it's the best feeling ever. Sometimes it likes to kick me like real close to the cuter bug. Um, not digging that, but then again, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, it's a beautiful, gorgeous blessing. And whatever baby is, baby moves a lot, like a lot of the day. And right before bed, it's going full Gabby Douglas. And it just makes you feel so warm inside. Oh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. I'm also really scared that I will not pass on trauma. I will be strong and I will pray this out of me. I deserve this life. I'm freaking awesome. Praise God. <laughs> Now that my morning affirmations are done, believe it or not, I haven't even had a sip of my coffee yet. I've just been thinking a lot and that's okay. I did get my coffee, very happy. I also got my chocolate croissant, very happy. For what, you ask, what are we doing? We're going to find maternity clothes. I'm very excited. Not maternity clothes, like clothes that just fit me during maternity, but also I can wear afterwards. Y'all should see the buttons on these pants. It's some of those pants that button like five buttons up. Yeah, we're like three buttons down, so. So yeah, we're gonna have a great day today. I'm gonna have a positive attitude. I am going to um, not be embarrassed. Like there's people pulling up in front of me. I don't even care. I'm gonna use my hands even more. Look at me, I don't care. Period, per meow. Um, I'm starting to get a little nervous now. <laughs> I'm going to be fearless. I'm going to vlog in public because I've been doing this for years. What is freaking new? Get over it. Nobody cares about me that much. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna drive. Eat my croissant, not bad, been warmer. My fault. Next, iced vanilla latte with only one shot. Two pumps of brown sugar, two pumps of toffee. Very good. And along with my chocolate croissant and my coffee, we are having some harvest snaps. Also, like I said, not sponsored to kind of offset the gestational diabetes that comes with the chocolate croissant every day. All right, we are going. We're gonna go to the mall. What? Do it. See you there. We're here. It only took me an hour and a few swear words. People be crazy. I can't believe my child has to drive. Oh, stop growing. First of all, I can't believe this thing, like it has to, like I can't just keep it in my belly forever. <laughs> Is that weird? It's the safest in my belly. Um, Harvest snap update, finished them. First stop, completely unnecessary. But I didn't know if anybody, some of you guys may not have experienced this southern gem of a store called Samoon. I don't even actually know if it's strictly southern. I do know that it's like rhinestone sandal culture, which is like typically southern, usually southern baseball mom. Um, seeing as I'm a Texan mother now, it's very fitting. And I haven't been in one of these in forever. And I wanna show y'all. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in a sand moon. Um, what are we gonna work on today? Confidence. Do I work on confidence with my new tripod? Or, oh my gosh, y'all are so dirty. Oh my gosh, let me panic about this for a second. Confidence, patience, grace, beautiful. I'm um, beautiful, kind, and I'm strong. Y'all, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this together. So y'all are gonna walk in with me. Here we go, here we go. Confidence, beauty, grace, welcome. And I'm okay, I'm gonna survive. Um, if you don't know what Sam Moon is, Sam Moon is basically like the Shein for purses, except it's in person. But look, so if you haven't been to a Sam Moon, you should go because they've got everything. Look at this purse strap. Do I have a purse to put it on? No, but I could find one. Look how cute that is. <laughs> Are you kidding? I love it. I think I said that it's only purses. It's not. It's jewelry, hats, accessories, whole nine yards. So let me do my picking and I'll show y'all. Look how cute. Also, look at my shoes. I got them because Beyonce wore them in like 2009. Look at this. Claw Clip Central, baby. Any kind you want. For about 99. Unfortunately, I have too much hair for a majority of these. So we're going to have to skip that. Y'all. 
I have two, but do I get red, white, black, or Gucci? This vlogging stuff is easy, y'all. <laughs> I'm also sweating profusely. For all you Dior baddies, and all you anemic baddies, for when you get chilly. Look, for all you Kendra Scott baddies, except the 399, way better. For all you silk bandana ladies, all 499. In that, in that, in that, in that. Sometimes I just like to take them and tie them to my purse to add a little bit of pizzazz, you know? Also, should I get the scarf? See, if it wasn't March, I mean April, where am I? Um, if it wasn't April, it would be a yes. So unfortunately, I think it's a no. Maybe we might get a couple of these little pantanies. I need them. No, I don't. Maybe, we'll see. Come back in like five minutes. Also, we've got all the Rangers gear you could ever ask for uh, in the Cowboys. Would it be a true Texas store if we didn't carry everything Jessica Simpson ever made? Even though she's a queen, I love her. Let me get out of here because I need to, we need to go other places if we're running out of daylight. So let me make my final choices and I'll see you all in a sec. Somebody said to come to Forever 21 cause that's all the heat, that's where all the heat is. The heat in question. There's some cute stuff here, but a lot of it's neutrals, and I'd rather die than ever have to wear neutrals. I say that, but I got some neutrals. <laughs> a lot of people will tell you, don't buy only statement pieces, because then when it's time to make an outfit, you'll be confused. I disagree. Only buy statement pieces. Let's try some stuff on. So I'm only going to show you all the nose. Uh... No. Um, but bump update. I'm also sweating profusely. Whose idea is this? I'm telling myself to remain positive. I'm having happy, positive thoughts. Um, this shirt simply just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit me. I don't fit the shirt. Um, however, it does make me feel like a freaking pig in the blanket. Good news, we have our first yes. Um, bad news is that I think it's time to let Forever 21 go. Seeing as I'm 22, I'm pregnant. Unfortunately, their large isn't what it used to be on me. Uh, so, I guess I'll just start shopping at Dillard's. I have this really awesome trait to wear. Um, I don't think it's worth it to stand in line for one item of clothing. And that's great for when I only have one item of clothing in my hand. But when I get that primal female urge to add four other things in my hand, just to make my standing in line worth it. That's when it's kind of a problem. So with that, I think I'm not gonna get anything. Cause if I get one pair of, uh, they, I don't know. Oh, here's my OOTD. Led Zeppelin shirt for free people. Bump from my husband. Pants, free people. Shoes, Nike, cute. Y'all, I forgot Earthbound was a thing. Uh, until honestly, just now. But the thing about Earthbound is it's all cute. You see those pants over there? It's all so cute, but I don't wanna be like that crunchy, you know? You just really have to be careful with your crunch levels as a mother nowadays. Also, can you believe my baby's Generation X? No, what? Generation Alpha, that's weird. And it's birthday's gonna be 2022? Don't like that. Also, I really hate this dressing room because it's like, It's giving solitary confinement. Once again, I'll show you all the no's because I'm gonna show you all the yeses when we get home, if there are any. Absolutely not. MC Hammer called. They're cute. They're literally just the most unflattering things ever. It's not MC Hammer. It's MC Hammer's brother, friggin' CM Screwdriver or something. Absolutely not. This little wrap skirt is kind of cute. I ain't mad at it, and it's reversible. You can honestly wear it with so many things. This one is a maybe. Okay, Earthbound was a bust. Nobody's fault. We're keeping a positive attitude, okay? We, we, but we do gotta start moving quick because I'm like an hour from home, and it's already five o'clock. Whatever will my husband eat for dinner? Let's try a couple of stoves. I have faith, I'm gonna find something. Y'all, you know when you're getting old when Dillard's is the only store at the mall that is busted. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my gosh, look how cute she looks. Cutie girl. My hair had to come up because I'm sweaty. Um, you know what's crazy to me is that a whole entire mall could be a bust. 
from both men's clothes and pregnant lady clothes. So we left. I met free people now. The standalone store, which is dangerous, dangerous. Very, 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 very. If you've ever gotten anything from Free People, you know that it, almost everything is oversized. That's why Free People has been my maternity clothing of choice. Also, I am so freaking hungry. It's almost dinner time, so do I get a snack? No. Or maybe. Do I eat a whole nother bag of snap peas? I might. Um, all I know is that I'm like 0.4 seconds away from dying and... Sorry. Brief intermission brought to you by Pressed Juicery. Um, we'll never pay $13 for ju two juices ever again, but I was simply going to die if I didn't get any sort of substance in me. So I got the chocolate banana protein smoothie with banana, monk fruit, almond butter, pea protein, cacao, vanilla, sea salt, and cinnamon. Cheers, let's see how this is. Okay, it tastes like trash, but I'm, I'm, I'm like physically, I'm, I'm dying, I'm flatlining as we speak. Save me juice, feed baby. $7 down the, down the hatch. Next, we got horchata azul. Let's just give this one a little sippy sip and then we'll go from here. This one has dates, coconut, long grain, white rice, vanilla, cinnamon, and spirulina. Oh, that's why it's blue. It's not bad. I don't ever want to have that much money to where I'm pretending that that tastes good. I also didn't know that this shopping center over here, because I had been to this Free People in Fort Worth so many times, I didn't know that there was another Free People right next to it, or a, 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 a um, what is that? Honestly, I just, I only knew there was a Free People. I didn't even know there was a whole shopping center behind it. Clean oil. I get it. Okay, now let's go to free people with a better attitude. I know we're working on the whole confidence thing, but I just could not film in both free people or anthropology. I didn't try anything on either because anthropology, I didn't try anything on in free people because I couldn't find anything. But anthropology, I didn't try anything on because anthropology is a fibber, okay? It's a big old facade. They are charging way too much money for something that is not worth that much money. It is so frustrating because it's so cute, but girl, $250 for a pair of pants? I'll be damned. Absolutely not. But that being said, if they came to me saying, we will give you either free clothes or X amount of money, I, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna take it. But there's a Fabletics, there's a Lululemon, there's a free people movement. Honestly, I have the most faith in Fabletics. And because I feel like walking in there would feel the least hate crimey, if that makes any sense. I'm keeping a positive attitude. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm just kidding. There was not a single item in those stores that made it worth it to pull out my camera. I can feel my positivity leaving my body. So I'm gonna call Mystery Man. So maybe he can cheer me up. <laughs> Maybe I'll feel better with some lipstick on. My lips aren't chapped. I've just been chewing the skin off of them for a snack. If he doesn't answer, I'm gonna bust into tears. Your call has been forwarded to an automated- <laughs> Baby, hello. What the heck? What the heck, what the heck? First, let me say this. My positivity that I've had all day long. Are you peeing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, these microphones on the new phones are amazing. You're still going? You're still, you're kidding. The positivity that was once flowing from my beautiful lifeless body, or like full of life body is now gone. Why? Because I was hate crimed by a Forever 21 large. The Fabletics didn't have anything. Why do you have such a big store but you carry like four pieces? It's okay, but I got a mom purse and that's all that matters. But I am gonna go, I'm gonna order us some food and pick it up from around here. So you want, you look at the menu. Okay, I'll, let me, let me, I, well, I'll see you guys at home, okay? I have made it home with food for the husband. Hello? Hello? Welcome home. I have gotten cozy. 
before I forget, let me give you a haul of what we did get today. First, I have a present for you. Me? Yeah. What? OMG. Green pea snacks? Yes! Isn't that so much fun? I love them. Here we go with my haul. First things first. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Huh. Isn't oh that gosh. so freaking cute? That's funny. And it works. Really? Yeah, you just have to set it. Dang. It's pretty awesome. Fine piece of jewelry. Next, I got this... Shawl. It's actually a shirt. It's a shawl, if I've ever seen one. Doesn't it scream like Coachella vibes? Totes adorbs. With like a cute little matching set thing underneath. Okay, cute. Next, I got this cute silk scarf. Whoa. Oh, it's a saddle? Yep. This purse strap. Cute, you think? Totes. What do you think about this? Cute, cute. What do you think about this one? I think this one's cute. This one's Super amazing. cute. Then I got this purse, which would be good because I can hold hella diapers. I've never been able to carry a water bottle in my purse. Well, that's so like was, a bag. It was weird, like walking around the mall with no stuff in your hands. My hands, yeah. Good job. Okay, that's all I got today. And my two juices that sucked, but those were literally to keep me from meeting my Lord and Savior. Okay, now let's eat food. Okay, come on, we all been slaving over this for hours. For real. Let's go. It's just the Khaleesi and Judy show. <laughs> Judy hated me before our trip and then we took a trip and left her somewhere and then I came back and now she loves me again. Welcome to our um, Wabi House food haul. That's about all I know. All I know is that I wanted ramen. We got ramen. First thing we got is some tonk with extra sha shashu and an extra egg and extra mushrooms. Just for you. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Wait. No. Got get. Yes. Yum. It's just fried chicken, but Smells Japanese good. style. Next. Ugh, the condensation stream. The octopus condensation. Octopus is... balls. Also known as? Test. And then, last but no, second to last but not least, we have gyoza. Fried. Yummy. Which does look like egg rolls, which is funny to me. And then another ramen show, show you. Show ya, yeah, show you, show you ramen. Very excited. First, I'm going to try gyoza. They're kind of not crispy anymore because I had to drive an hour home. Yummy. Mmm. Very good. Tight, 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 tight. Yeah. Tight. I'll give those a 8 out of 10. Next, takoyaki. Okay, ready? Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Tastes like octopus. There it is. Very good. I give that. What did I give this? I don't remember. I give that one less than the first one. This one came with marinated watermelon. Here, try the watermelon. Come close. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm. Kurage in the sauce, which I think is like a, smells like a mustard of some sort. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I give those one less than the takoyaki, two yes than the gyoza. Really? Yeah. Wow. Very good. Thanks for joining. You should go check out Wabi House if you live in Fort Worth. What do you tell Wabi House? Gohan wa oishikata. Gohan wa oishikata. Arigato gozaimashite. Arigato gozaimashite. Itadakimasu. It was a pretty good day. We had a good day together. I hope it wasn't boring. Sorry we didn't buy more things. I'm not. <laughs> Me you either. Care. You know. Reminder. Reminder that not every time you go shopping, stuff needs to be bought. No, I think the remind you don't have to spend money to have fun. That is also true. Maybe one day we'll find some clothes that fit. Or maybe, you know what, I'll create my own freaking uh, uh, maternity. maternity line. And it'll be cute. Because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Oh, I forgot to say, I changed all my usernames on everything. My username on Instagram is now Khaleesi. Isn't that so much fun? And everybody calls me Khaleesi now. So I'm Khaleesi. Rebrand, rename, reborn. Oh, and on TikTok, I'm also Khaleesi. Okay. Wait, please go turn the AC off. Okay. We had to turn the AC off and I'm sweating so much. Because it's, it gets so loud and you... Okay.
<laughs> Good night, guys. We love you. Mom, time. Kiss, kiss. Smooch, smooch. Bye, bye.